Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Saki Bigbal and here we discuss about Bitcoin options trading, live trade and chart analysis and welcome to another video. Today is a Monday, as you all know. <coughs> Very good morning to all of you. And uh, the strategy that we're going to enter is called Long Strangle. I know I have been trading on a particular strategy for a long time. So we are making a small tweak on this strategy. I'll share you why. Uh, for the past three Mondays, we've been losing. That means we, we are entering into a short strangle position. We are entering a 2000 point short strangle. And in this 2000 point short strangle, we are losing on everyday basis. Only on one Monday, we won it. The rest of the all Mondays, uh, we lose. Then I back tested this data. This When I back tested this data, I could see that 71% of the time uh, on a Monday, the volatility is a high. So there is a small tweak that we're going to do in our strategy. So what we are going to do on every Monday that we are going to do a long strangle, just the opposite of a short strangle. So what is long strangle? Long strangle is buying uh, out of the money call option as well as buying an out of the money put option. So you will create a strangle like this. If the market goes beyond this uh, two points, then you're going to make money. So basically that is a, a long strangle. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how to create a long strangle and also I will show you guys in the payoff chart how, how it looks. So let's uh, see the mark, uh, market first. So as you know, Saturday, Sunday market never moved anywhere. It was just playing around over here. Just try to uh, come here to the positions that I was holding and uh, but the market was consolidating and close over here. So for the past two days, uh, the strategy I used was iron condor. So I entered into iron condor. Why I entered into iron condor? I already said, usually I entered short strangle, but I entered iron condor because this Friday was a huge sell off. So I expect the market to recover, but the market didn't. The market was consolidating at the point. So I lose my buy legs, but on the sell legs, I made a, uh, a profit on both the, both the legs. So I made like the 70, $80 in the, sell legs and the buy legs I lose 40, 40 to $50, $40 and $10 close to charges I lose. So about $30 I make in this week. So uh, let's jump right into um, short strangles, uh, sorry, long strangle, which we are going to do today. So as you can see, uh, there is a, these two levels which I draw is the levels I draw for our, I would say our short positions, I mean short strangles, but if I'm going to enter a uh, long strangle position it will be one strike above this and one strike below this i hope it makes sense because uh, the because the the strategy i enter usually is 2000 points strong so the strategy i'm going to enter today is will be 1000 point short strangle so it's a 1000 point short strangle is what we are going to look at so let's uh sorry let's uh jump into our Delta Exchange platform. So I'll go to Delta Exchange platform and uh, I'll look for these particular strikes. So to, uh, the strike which is below, we have 22500 is here. We have 2500 is here. It's about uh, 2000 points, so 1000 point away from the uh, opening range. So market is open at. Let's look at the opening range. The so opening range is about uh, 21500. So 21500, then we are going to take uh, 22500 as well as 2500. This will be our positions. So let's enter both the legs. So 2500 first. Okay, sorry. So 22500, I'll click on the best offer. There's no high slippage or anything. It is uh, quite okay. Uh, so I'm going to enter. So I'll enter 300 quantities. See. I'm going to enter the 300 quantities. Uh, I'm not going to put any TP or anything like that. I want the market to move. When the market is going to make a huge, a big move, I'll benefit from it. So, my buy leg is there. 300 um, contracts on a buy leg, 2500. Then, on 2500, same. I'm going to go for another buy position. Okay. 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 So I entered into a buy position. 
on twenty five hundred as well as twenty two five hundred. So one thousand point away from uh, the current strike and one thousand point below from the current strike. So uh, one thousand point away, I sell a call option. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, sell a call option and one thousand point below, I sell. Uh, sorry, I buy a put option, not selling buy because we are using a long strike. So for this particular strategy, how much was the total amount that I required to enter? So it is just forty dollar. You just need forty USDT to en enter into the strategy on a Monday. Um, yeah, three hundred quantities. Three hundred quantities. Uh, we don't need to look over here the strike or whatsoever. Basically, uh, I was looking at the one thousand point average strike from the opening range. So we have uh, totally spent about forty USDT. So our maximum loss is forty, which we already know when we enter into the strategy. So what I'm expecting, I'm expecting the market to make a move either side. So let's go to strategy builder to see uh, what is our position and uh, how is going to benefit from us. So this is a paper position. I'll close this. This is extremely slow. I'll open again. Okay, so when you enter a long strangle position, um, I don't know if you have noticed, I have not entered into the same day contract, which is very important for you guys to understand. I entered into the next day contract. I never, if you are new to my channel, you already know, I never trade on a same day contract. I ne always trade on a uh, second next day contract. So that means you can see that one day, 11 hours. It has one day and 11 hours to expiry. And it is 23rd August. I'm trading on a 23rd August contract, which is tomorrow's contract. I never trade on a same day's contract. So this is uh, how I trade usually. So that is my trading style because my strategy is revolve around this particular expiry. If it's on an expiry date, I will not be able to do adjustments. I make adjustments on my most of my trades. So in order for me to do that, I need that time frame or I need that time window. Okay. So we'll go to a strategy builder since it's uh, loading. Yes, it's loading. So let's look at our payoff chart. I'm gonna show you guys the payoff chart. So long strangle position, whenever you enter into a long strangle position, uh, always make sure that uh, if the profit is, the profit on either of the leg goes above your desired amount, like let's say when I say your desired amount, you have to ensure that the other leg is going to bleed right. So let's say when you make a profit, make sure that this profit is more than the amount that you are going to lose from this leg. So look overall PNL. Try not to look in that one particular leg PNL. Okay, to try to look at this uh, overall PNL. So as you can see, if the market goes uh, 2500 or 20 uh, market falls below to 2200, we are going to make about $100. If the market is going to go to towards the uh, upside to go to 22 uh, 600 we are going to make 100 dollar but this is like too much right i mean uh, we are not expecting the market to make a huge move whatsoever but to be honest i am expecting a market to make a huge move on a monday why because last friday it was a huge sell-off either it can recover if it's going to recover it will go all the way till okay let's go to the charts to see what's happening so there's a one hour chart so one hour chart is uh, sorry I'll just close this one for you guys to see clearly. So it's a one hour chart. So if you look at the one hour chart, you can see the market fall from Friday and uh, was consolidating over here. Either it can fall down. If it's going to fall down, it's going to fall down to, it can go, if, if it can even test 90,000. And if it's going to go up, if it will go all the way till 22,100, can go till here because there's a huge resistance over here, 22,100 because there is a lot of uh, uh, how to put it call writing over here 2100 so there is a lot of resistance at this that this side the market has a huge potential for the downside based on the option chain uh, analysis but uh, the way i see it i suspect the market to come back over here in the range it was playing before you see that particular range in which market was playing for some time right then the market uh, came down so i expect the market to come back to this particular range which is about 23000 this range 23000 this range 
so i i'll be very excited if the market is going to recover and come back to this particular range because this is the range which uh how do i break which which is more stable for bitcoin and if the market is going to go there and going to be between this particular range it will be good for us as an option sellers we can use our strangles and uh, make a good amount of profit for the coming days but if the market is going to fall again and it's going to be very tricky i'll be using iron condors for the next few days whenever i enter but on a monday from now all the way we have, will be entering into one strategy which is called long strangle so i hope you guys understand how to make a long strangle so it is as i said again one more time i'll say 1000 point away i buy a call option uh, 1000 point uh, below i buy a put option and uh, it can be anything it can be 500 points away or 500 points will it's based on your strategy and things like that based on my strategy i use like this because uh, i as you know i trade on a particular rule based trading so this is my position so the pay off chart will look like this if you go to strategy builder click on pay off chart it will show you something like this then you know you ended into a correct one and the break even is a point where you are more profitable so you can see where is the break even point 2800 so here also you can see what's the break even point so it's about 22600 uh, so basically that's it that's how you create a short strangle position uh, sorry long strangle position <laughs> so here what is so that's it guys that's about my trade for today um i wish you guys all the best for your trade and i'll see you guys in the next video trade safe